let us discuss about basic constructions by using ruler and compasses in the previous concept we have discussed about how to construct perpendicular bisector of a given line shape and now in the present session the construction to to draw an angle bisector of a given angle by using ruler and compasses so what is the construction how you will construct the angle bisector of a given angle see this is the given statement now what is the given data here given data an angle x o y what is this this is angle this is this is the vertex o and this is ray x o x is a ray and o y is another ray x o y is a, an angle this is the given angle x o y now to prove what you have to prove draw a angle bisector of a given angle of a given angle what is angle x o y draw a angle bisector of angle x o y so this is the angle now what are the steps of construction steps of construction what is the first step this is given angle x o y is a given angle now first you have to draw an arc with o as a center and what is the radius of the arc we can take our convenient radius that means place compass here and take the some length and take place the compass here and take some radius and draw an arc like this this is this is an arc and this arc meets at p q p q meets at p q and it is extends like this so it, the arc is p q r first one is draw an arc arc with o as a center and convenient radius convenient radius so what is the arc here here p q r is a arc what is arc here p q r is an arc this is an arc now what is another step with p as a center take the radius more than the half of pq that means this is consider this is an half now we have to take the radius more than half like this okay slightly more than half now construct an arc interior of the angle and the radius more than half of pq and construct an arc here interior of the angle and construct another arc like this with q as a center and radius more than half like this take this is a radius now construct an arc here like this these two are met at this point this is let it be z okay now join o z this is the ray o z passes through this point now this line o z divides the angle x o y into two equal angles it bisects the angle x o y into two equal angles that is angle x o y is divided into two equal angles what are the equal angles angle x o z is equal to angle y o z these are the two angles equal angles the ray o z divides the angle x o y into two equal angles that means this ray bisects the angle x o y so these are the steps here second step with the p as a center construct an arc in the interior of the angle p as a center and what is the radius radius is slightly more than half of pq then draw an arc there and radius is more than half pq draw an arc draw an arc in interior interior of angle angle x o y interior of angle x o y this is on in the same way with q as a center q as a center and radius more than 
half PQ, draw an arc in interior angle X, O, Y. Now join these two arcs are met at this point Z. It is named as Z. Draw ray O, Z. Point 4, draw a ray O, Z. Okay. Draw a ray O, Z. Then O, Z is the bisector of angle X, O, Y. This is the result. Angle X, O, Y is divided into two angles. That means angle X, O, Y bisects by this ray. So, this is the construction of angle bisector. This is called angle bisector. This is the angle bisector of a given angle. These are the steps to construct angle bisector of a given angle. Thank you.